Hey, what's up guys? Good to see you here on the channel. So I don't know whether we spooked the, uh, the thief or he just made enough money selling mom and dad's golf cart and he doesn't need any right now. But I got us a real deal GPS tracker that we're gonna go uh, install on the golf cart. As well as you know, as y'all know, we already have an air tag on it. But this real deal one uh, will show us live location. It is a subscription service, but I know it works and I uh, hadn't used it in about a year and a half. And let's see, I know it works. How can I say this without getting a phone call from a lawyer? Um, well, I'm happily divorced. Y'all can read between the lines on that one. But the thing works beautifully, it has about a month long battery on it. So I'll just feel a little bit better if we have some backup versus that air tag because I'm not exactly sure how those work. Read some um, a few articles that kind of contradict themselves and I'm just a little worried. I definitely just do not want to make the video to where I look like a huge complete idiot using my golf cart for bait and now it's gone and I have no idea where it is. So let's go up the back hill or up the back road. It's five o'clock so everybody should be done quit and gone. That way we can keep this kind of quiet between us and then we'll put the new gps on it i'm gonna move it around a little bit because um you know i just don't want them to think that it's you know what it actually is which is bait so i'm gonna move it around a little bit just to make it look like we're using it and just make it look a little as, as, as natural as possible so we're almost there let's go set this thing up so this is the new gps tracker i'll put a link to the in the description below if you have interest in one of these but this thing is about four hundred dollars i'm not going to open it up because there's a battery in there and as soon as i open it up the battery's probably going to fall out and i've got it all set up through uh, their website so you can set parameters up if it leaves a circle or enters a circle it's really pretty dang cool and it's got this giant magnet on the back of it and it uh it stayed on the car for quite some time so I don't see why I wouldn't stick to this golf cart. Then we're just going to get up under here and see if we can find us a spot to hook it that's kind of concealed. Let's see. I don't want it to interfere with any of the brakes or nothing. But once that joker sticks on there, man, it's hard to even pull off. We're going to run through a mud puddle, too. Maybe to uh, disguise it a little bit, but it kind of looks like part of the golf cart, so I think it'll be good. And hopefully, y'all saw all of that and dropped my microphone too. But I really couldn't see under there, <laughs> so it was a tight fit. So sorry if y'all couldn't see where I put it. But uh, let's see, it's right, right there. So I guess let's go ahead and upload our fake load of wood and I think we'll take it around to an area where they got that um, billy goat blower from the other night it's a lot of tools and stuff still around at that area so I feel like we'll have a better chance of them visiting that little tool area versus over here again and, and like I said too it'll make the golf cart seem like it's actually being used up here for work so let's ride around there and get her set up. I'm going to take the camera that I had right over here. I think later. Uh, I don't want the camera on the golf cart because I don't know if that spooked them or what have you. But I'm going to take that that camera down to mom and dad's and just put it up somewhere down there. Now that we got the the real GPS on here, as soon as it moves, I can be alerted. And also that GPS is in, in that little case. It's waterproof, shockproof, hopefully. So I just ran over a log. We're gonna run up a mud, run through a little mud puddle up here so we can camo it a little bit. Camo job complete. Here's the little tool area I was telling you guys about. We know he came over here with a little blower. It was right over there by that shed. So let's go ahead, let's see, where would be the best spot to put this thing? Tell you what, if I were coming up here to get in one of the vehicles, I would probably just park her 
right here. So that's what we're gonna do. And normally what I would do at home is just put the key down in this little cup. So to make it a little less bait-like, we'll go ahead and do that. But, you know, the dude came, like I said, right to that shed right yonder. He's walked all around this place up here. So this should stick out. Maybe he would just think we just parked it over here and forgot it. We shall see. Now, again, the only sucky part is we got to walk. We did have one incident last night that was a little out of the ordinary. I don't know whether it was coincidence or not, but some of the folks were here working late and the alarm went off over at the scale house. No doors were open, so I don't know whether a mouse ran through or whatever. But I ran up here, uh, but before I got here, the folks that were working said that a truck pulled up out there by the gate, saw them, squeal wheels, and took off. So maybe that was our guy coming back to get the billy goat blower, and uh, he just came a little early. So maybe he got spooked. Hopefully he'll be back tonight, and I'll be a lot less worried with that uh, U.S. fleet tracker on the golf cart versus that little air tag. And here's his tracks. When he did get that billy goat, billy goat blower, you can see it had one flat tire. The tracks kind of disappear there because the loader's been working back here all day. And I see here it is again. Pick it up right here. But to drag that thing with a flat tire took some dedication. And that's why I think he already put that much effort into it. He'll be back. We do have, still, have, still have the air tag in the blower. Maybe he'll be stupid enough or smart enough to get the golf cart to go get the blower, and then we for sure can track him. Hey, gum, it's getting cold out here, you guys. Well, I appreciate y'all checking this video out. Sorry to make a multi-video series, but this thing's kind of dragging out a little bit longer than I had expected. And well, I had no other choice, but appreciate you watching. Keep your fingers crossed, and hopefully in the next video, We'll be apprehending this joker in uh, Operation Bust That Ass.